Good morning everyone from Jeff's Little Engine Service. So we have this lawn mower here. I replaced the blades in the belt uh, about six months ago and the customer just brought it back and as you can see the belt is roached, wasted, destroyed, no good, bad, wiggity womped, all that stuff. Anyways, it seems a little too soon for the belt to go bad, so I'm suspecting there may, may be other problems under here. One thing I did notice was uh, on the inside of the belt here, the surface that touches the pulleys, you can see it kind of has a weird cut pattern. So uh, anyways, let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. I did look at the records and I put an aftermarket belt on, which was about uh, half the price of a factory belt. Now, that may have been the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and order a genuine Husqvarna belt for this or Craftsman, whatever I can get. As long as it's a made in America belt, it should be fine. So I think I'm just going to take these off so I can get a look at the pulleys, make sure there's no sharp, jagged uh, metal sticking out there that caused the belt to get cut. Now a lot of times, a lot of times when folks replace their belts, they don't get the belt on the inside of the keeper here. They just wrap it around like this and that will cause your belt to get destroyed pretty quick. But it looks like uh, when I put this on, I put it on correctly. These were both inside the, the belt was inside both belt keepers. I'm just going to feel around on the pulley here for any sharp, jagged objects that could have cut the belt. And it's nice and smooth. So let's go to the other side. These covers are pretty easy to remove. There's two bolts. Nice. some of this grass. <sighs> and the belt is on the inside of both of those keepers too, as you can see. So that was correct. Let me inspect this pulley for anything sharp. No, it's nice and smooth too. Could it be that it was just an aftermarket belt? And if you look back in here on your idler pulley, you also have some of those keepers. That's it right there. It's just a little metal tab. It looks like uh, there's actually one on this side too. And just want to make sure the belt's on the inside of those keepers when you put the belt on, which it is. And then you can see the other pulley over there uh, has the same setup with those metal tabs that the belt has to go inside. So far, I don't really see anything that could have caused the belt to rip like that. One thing I did notice, however, was that that belt keeper there is kind of bent outward and the belt may have escaped off of it. So I'm gonna have to take this pulley off and bend this tab so it's a little bit closer to the pulley there. That could be uh, one issue. I'm gonna go ahead and I might, I might have to do the same to these other ones too if they've been pried out too far. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I also check this pulley, make sure it still spins freely, not too wobbly. And there's nothing sharp on it. 
can see the keeper that holds the belt on the engine pulley is this bracket here and the belt goes through those holes on each side but it looks like it's in the right spot to me so that's not the problem well one thing's nice this belt is nice and easy to replace so we'll get a new one on there man that does sure look like something maybe went wrong with the belt the rubber in there is not real soft yeah the rubber seems kind of brittle not real flexible what do you guys think kind of looks like belt failure to me the fact that it's cracked all along like that kind of weird I think it was just a piece of crap belt. So I ordered this belt uh, through a place called the Technology Parts Store, and uh, obviously I wouldn't recommend it. And let's get to this pulley here, see if we can get it off easy enough so we can bend the tab a little bit closer to it. it looks like that's a 9 16 And I wonder if there's a spot underneath that I have to hold. I don't know if that's a bolt or not, so or if it's a stud, we'll find out if it loosens up. Oh boy, that thing's tight. Ah. So, I think it's just turning. Yeah. Well, it looks like the left side here is a bolt and there is a nut on the bottom of this bracket that you have to hold. And I believe it's a 9 16 Yep. All right, so we'll lock him up there. Grab this dude. See, there's a washer and the nut that holds it on. And yeah, okay. So that's our little take this pulley out of the way. And you can see it only goes one way. There's a spacer on the bottom side. If you look at the bracket here, you'll see there's a slot, and that's where you would put that, just like that. But as you can see, it's kind of bent outwards, so all I need to do is bend it back that way, like that. If I bend it a little too far this way, I can always bend it back after I put it on. So I'm going to overbend it a little bit just to make sure. Yep. That's how it's done, son. Well worth it. Make sure to keep that belt in place now if that was the problem. Not real easy to get to this thing, but not real hard either. Okay, just make sure you don't knock that keeper out of place when you're putting this back together.
Ooh, there we go. We're getting tight now. All right. Get down in here and see the way. See the way that thing is set there now. It comes up a little bit above the pulley. It's grinding, so I'll have to bend it out just a hair. Just keep bending it out a little bit until it lightly clears. I think I'm going to grab a pair of pliers. Right, a pair of pliers here. Don't get too crazy, or I'll have to take it apart again. There we go. There we go. Yep. That's how you want it. You can hear when it's rubbing. Nice and clear. That's what we want. All right. Now we got to do this side. I think this one is mounted on a stud. So hopefully it'll come off a little easier. Ooh, that's stiff. Oh, there we go. And you'll have to push up on the stud from underneath here. It's one of those square bolts. Looks like we have a nut, no washer. This is what the bolt looks like. And this is a double belt keeper. And this bracket just kind of sets sets on this way so the back of the brackets at the, the back of the other bracket and the same as the other pulley this one has a shoulder on the bottom I'm going to put this bolt up in here first, then the little bracket, and the pulley. Make sure that bracket stayed in place. tabs a little too much. There we go. Silent as can be. Perfect. And with these keepers, you can see that one's a little far away. If you just whack it with a hammer once or twice, down low if you can, that usually can move them over. Sometimes you have to remove them to bend them in, but usually you can just kind of work them in one way or another. So when the machine came in, the belt was still on both of the blade pulleys, so I don't think these belt keepers were a problem. But I'm gonna give them a little whack anyways. See, you can get them closer. There we go. 
Maybe a little too close on that one. But yeah, much tighter gap. That way the belt can't come off. So I've already put the new belt on, as you can see. It's really easy. You don't have to take anything apart. Just have to start wrapping it around the pulleys. And this is the part number I came up with over here. Four zero five one four three. And now that the belt is on, everything looks good. I think it's time to test this baby out. Oh, but first I got to put the covers back on. <laughs> 